What is up, guys? Welcome to the Making MLS Offers Live call, where we make MLS Offers Live. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so let me share my screen. We're going to dive right into it. Who is this calling me? Right off the bat, somebody is calling me. Oh, you know what it is? It's because a ringless voicemail went out. Ringless voicemails go out every single day at 9 a.m. And looks like one just went out and somebody called me back on it. But let me put my phone on do not disturb because it throws me off when people call me and I'm trying to do other stuff. Okay, let's dive right into it. Pull it up on Zillow. I think I tried to call this one yesterday and they didn't answer. Yeah, I did. Okay, let me call them again. Good morning, Marcella. Good morning, Reggie. Hi, this is Karen Klein Richard with Remax Direct. I'm sorry I wasn't able to take your call. Good morning, Nate. Hi, this is Karen Klein Richard with Remax. Okay, no answer. All right, let me grab my KPI sheet. Today is the 10th. Okay. So I called that one yesterday and she didn't answer. And then I called her today and she didn't answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send her a text. What information do I need? Uh, I really just need her email to send my offer to. Just tried to get a hold of you again. Actually, I'll just say, what email should I send my offer to? And I will put her in underwriting because the information that I need is in the MLS. So I don't need to like, I don't necessarily need to talk to her on the phone. It's good, but I will survive without. Let's see, Alvin um, says, is Go High Level messed up? Um, is that happening with more? Then just that one contact. Okay, next one. Let's see, what did Alvin say? Trying more. Okay, anything about the age of the roof, AC water heater in the description? Nope. All right, let me call. Hey, good morning, Catherine. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property you listed on Old Magnolia Cove. Yes. I'm interested in it. There's not much information in the description. By the way, I'm not an agent. I'm just a buyer. 
Um, but I'm wondering as to like the big ticket items, the age of the roof, AC, uh, do you have that information? I do. It's in the property disclosure in the MLS. Um, is, do you have an iPhone? I do, but I'm calling you off of my CRM. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So I was going to, oh, can you text me your email? Yeah. And I'll go ahead and email it to you. Okay. Do you just have the, I, I mean, unless if there's like anything crazy in the seller's disclosure, all I really need is just the age of the roof and AC. Do you have that information on hand? I don't have it on the top of my head. It's in the property disclosure. That's why I told you I'll send you the property disclosure. Okay. Yeah, I'm not an agent, so I don't get to see that. That's okay. I can email it to you. Okay. I'm just texting you my email. Nathan at risingstarinvestment.com. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll keep an eye out for that, and I'll let you know what I can offer. All right. All Thanks. right. Sounds good. Thanks, Catherine. And I'll go ahead and send it your way. You're welcome. Perfect. Take care. Okay. Bye. Okay. So we're going to put her in the waiting on info category. And we will update our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called agent conversation. And on to the next. Pull it up on Zillow. Looks like this one is pending now. Could make a backup offer on it. Yeah, we'll make a backup offer. to our voicemail system uh, so i'm looking at it right here and it looks like this is a landline and my entire follow-up sequence is based on text so um it kind of throws a kind of makes it redundant um going after so abandon landline okay Okay, so this one is pending, accepting backups, brand new roof. So this one here, I almost feel like it's too nice for us. Yeah, I think it is. So I'm going to abandon this one because it looks like it would pass a four point. So abandon. Too nice. Huh, this one is accepting backups as well.
we seem to be coming across a lot of those today. Okay, let's give him a call. Herman. Hello. Hey, good morning, Herman. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property on North C Street. Yeah. Hey, so I'm, I'm interested in it. I didn't see anything about the age of the roof, though. So do you have that information? But North C Street is under contract right now. I saw that. Yeah. I It, it says accepting backups. Yes. Um, the age of the roof is original. A 1970s roof. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Are there leaks in it? No, no leaks. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Um, anything else about the property that I should be aware of and budget for? Uh, no. I think everything else is good. I think the only thing would be just if you want to replace the roof, but they've never had an issue with leaks or anything. So, and they did the inspection, and everything came out good. So. Okay. Are they past their inspection period yet? Yes. Oh, so they're already hard on their EMB? Um, it's just the financing that they're waiting on. Okay. Finalized. Okay. All right. Then, yeah, I'll put it in an offer. Forward. Okay. Um, what email should I send my offer to? Herman at Isela.com. Herman at, I don't know how to spell that, Isela. How do you spell that? Yeah, like I sell a house. I sell a car. Oh, I sell a boat. I sell yeah. a I S E L L A. Yeah. Dot com. I spell it. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'll get that out to you and I'll I'll text you afterwards to confirm you got it. All right. Thanks, Herman. Thank you. So they said that they're past their inspection period, but there's a financing contingency. So because there's a financing contingency and it's a 50 year old roof, um, they might not go through. So I'm I'm willing to put in a backup offer on it. Okay, and we'll update our KPIs. It's an MLS listing called agent conversation. Okay, so new roof, newer AC. And water heater. Oh, this is a 55 plus. We're going to abandon. Abandon. 55 plus. Here, one second. I just got to check this message. Thanks for the update. Okay, cool. All right, so we can do control F 
and look for roof. New roof in 2019. AC 2019. All right, let's give them a call. Good morning, Carolyn. Hey, good morning, Sam. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on uh, South L Street. Uh huh. So I'm I'm interested in it. I'm by the way, I'm not an agent. I'm just an investor. Um, I just wanted to touch base with you and see if there's any surprises or anything that I should budget for before I start running my numbers. No, I mean not not that I know of. I know we did the roof in 2019. Uh, insulated it. Uh, as well with spray insulation and AC 2019, water heater 2016 or 17, 17 I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, that's those are the fundamentals. Um, it is concrete and wood, it's on risers, so it's an elevated property. Um, what else would you like to know? Um, no, I, I think that's good. You know, I came across one of the photos. Um, it was weird. It was photo number four, and it looked like there was like some like heavy Photoshop in it. Like the baseboard is like blended with the wall, and it just and then the floor is like dragged up into the wall. So I don't know. I just wasn't sure if it was like a catfish kind of property or. <laughs> yeah, totally catfish. Yeah. No, it's my. I'm the agent and the owner. Um, nothing photoshopped in the pictures, by the way. Huh. Interesting. So asked me if the floor was slanted because it looked a little angled but i think it was just a photograph um i tried to get professionals up there because i i always like to have professional photos especially on my own property but both of our photographers were out for two weeks so mm -hmm. i did not have the opportunity to uh to get photos yet but they, i'm getting professional photos this week um but no nothing photoshopped uh -uh. Interesting. Yeah. Take a look at photo number four right at the bottom of the. I'm not um, on my computer, my dear. I'm yeah. actually in the, in the, on the way to go meet with somebody. Okay. No worries. So, uh, so you call me back in an hour and we can do this in front of a computer. So I have it in front of me as well. Yeah. No sweat. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll run my numbers as long as there's no like surprises. Um, then I'll be good at my offer price. What, what email should so I, I send it to? Uh, the garage is a third unit potentially. I mean, it's, uh, it's got, it has electric and water already piped to it. Um, it'd be a nice, uh, the cottage, you know, that's what I call it. We have everything to do the cottage. I just haven't, uh, the only reason we're selling it is because I, I had a medical issue last year. I went blind in one eye, so I, I don't oh, drive shit. anymore. Um, so I can't go back and forth like I used to. So, yeah, the only oh, reason why I have, haven't done the renovation, but it's a great property, great multi family use, multi family zoning, uh, great single family home, also great, you know, uh, multi family unit. So, Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. What uh? Um, what email should I send my offer to? What? What email should I send my offer to? Um, it should be on the uh, MLS. Like, I'm, I'm not an agent. Oh, I'm, well, I'm sorry. Well, I didn't say anything in Zillow. It's S A M A N T H A. Mm -hmm. The L. J O H N S E N. Samantha L. Johnson at gmail.com. Okay. All right. I'll get that out to you and I'll, I'll send you a text afterwards to confirm you got it. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Samantha. Take care. Dude, there definitely is like some sus Photoshop in this one. Take a look at this. So we'll share the tab. Photo number four. Okay. Let me, let me even make it nice and big. Um, photo number four right here. Take a look at this. Um, how do I zoom? Yeah, like that is definitely Photoshop. I don't see how that cannot be Photoshop. Look, the floor literally is like, huh? And then the baseboard, like that's some sus Photoshop. She told me that there wasn't Photoshop in any of the photos, but I mean, then again, she's blind in one eye. So maybe she just, doesn't see it, but that's definitely Photoshop. 
some of these agents they'll photoshop the listings dramatically and it's like quite the catfish kind of property so just keep an eye out for that but anyways let's update our kpis that's another mls listing called another agent conversation Looks like paper and tape that's bowed up. I was like really confused though because like the baseboard was covered and like the baseboard became flat and like merged with the wall and then the flooring became part of the wall there. It was strange. It could be some incredibly shitty drywall work. But then again, like the flooring here, control shift T. Let's take a look at it again. So it could be like some really shitty drywall work. But like I was thinking, I don't know how that could be really shitty drywall work because like look right here. Um, here, let me make it nice and big. So look right here. Like that's part of the baseboard. And like this is part of the floor and the floor is like becoming part of the baseboard and not only that not only that but look 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 at look at the lamp the cord on the lamp just disappears but the lamp is on like the lamp is literally on but the cord on the lamp has disappeared so i'm i'm pretty sure it's photoshop i'm really sure it's photoshop Silly agents. Gene says, maybe they put the cord in the wall and covered it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Something sus. Look at this pink house. This one's accepting backups too. Nothing about the age of the roof, AC, water heater. Let's give them a call. Hey, Ricky, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing you have on Mentoni Road. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, so by the way, I'm not an agent. I'm just a buyer. Um, I'm interested in this property, but I don't really see anything about the big ticket items. Do you have that information? Hey, you don't see anything about what? I don't see anything in the description about like the age of the roof or AC. Um, do you yeah, have information? Yeah, the yeah, roof was built in 2009. Um, I mean, it was, yeah, it was uh, redone in 2009. AC, I think, is a little newer, about about three years old. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Is there any any surprises with this property that I should budget for? Uh, well, no, we 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 are under contract right now. Uh, we we have uh, it was some mold issues that we um, got mediated uh, and. Uh, some other things that was taken care of, but the, the, the seller already took care of all the, the uh, different things that was identified in the uh, inspection report. So. Okay, so there was mold, but there's no longer mold. Could you elaborate on that? No, yeah, because yeah, they did the mold remediation. You know, it costed about like almost about six thousand dollars for them to take care of that. And they they did that. You okay. know, got new ducts in, got it all took care. Of. Okay, gotcha. Okay, all right. Um, what email should I send my offer to? Um, if, if, if it's not like close, because I understand you're an investor, so you, you probably got to come in a lot lower. But, you know, if it's, if it's not going to be like, you know, near, near the uh, 
the uh, acting price, it's probably I wouldn't even waste time doing it. You know what I mean? Because again, they already put out a lot of money. You know, to, to, to get things up to where it needs to be. So, you know, it may not be a good deal. So you, you're not coming in pretty close. Do you think the other guy is overpaying? You say the other guys are overpaying. Yeah. Do you think the other guy is overpaying? No, I don't think they're overpaying. I'm just saying that they, they're. If your offer is not going to be um at the acting price, it's not going to work. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Interesting. Are, Look, I know because I, 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 I'm just telling you, as for an investor, you probably want to come in at about uh, what three, three ten, three twenty, and uh, what I'm saying is that's not going to work. Uh, it sounds like that's what's pe what people are offering you. No, no, because I'm I'm an investor as well, so I invest, so I, I just know pretty much you know how, how the game works. You know what I mean? So, and I know that what they want is is pretty much you know what action price is. Because of what they already had put into the place. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe maybe the guy that's under contract right now will buy it. I don't know, but I mean, personally, I think I think nobody's gonna gonna close on this at three sixty five. I can I can make you an offer. Um, I'm gonna give you full as is value, but I'm also not gonna overpay. No, no, I totally understand. As an investor, you you can't. You know what I mean? It won't be no meat on the bone. So. You know, the idea of buyer would be uh, at that price probably someone who, who uh, you know, first time home buyer, somebody that plans to stay in the house. From an investor standpoint, you know, it, you know, it, it, I understand where you're coming from. So okay. I just kind of want to just you know, just be clear with you. So okay. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. And then, like I said, just check back, you know, in, in maybe maybe two weeks and if something different, you know what I mean? And maybe something that we can kind of talk and have a better conversation about. Okay. Well, why don't, why don't I make an offer and we'll see what happens. You know, if they decline it, I won't be emotionally damaged. Um, okay. No problem. Then we'll see where we go from there. All righty. What email should I send it to? What's that? What email should I send my offer to? Uh, you can send it to ricky.petty at gmail.com. Ricky.petty at gmail.com. Yeah, ricky dot, ricky dot petty. Ricky dot petty. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'll uh R I C K Y dot P E T T Y at gmail dot com. Okay, cool. I'll I'll send you a text afterwards to confirm you got it. All right, no problem. Thanks, Ricky. All right, no problem. Take care. Marcella says, Nathan, you were being hard to deal with today. Yeah, I kind of feel like a steaming pile of dog poop today. I'm not feeling too good. Yesterday I wasn't feeling too good either. I uh I literally slept for like twelve hours yesterday. Like at 3 p.m., I just went to bed and slept all all until tomorrow, all until the next day. Um, so yeah, I'm I kind of don't have much patience today. I feel like a steaming pile of dog poop. Okay, so Ernesto says buyer will be there at 10.30. Let me text the agent. Oh, look at this. I have... Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I think we have an offer ready to go out. Yes, we do.
boom, offer submitted, update our KPIs. Okay, let's keep calling. Damn, everything here is accepting backups. Why, why do I happen to be coming across all of them that are accepting backups? Let's try the next one. Maybe it's because they sat too long in my CRM. Mm, this one seems too nice. Yeah. Abandon. Too nice. Wow, this one too. Listing removed. Hmm. I don't know, bro. I'm not sure. This one is too nice as well. No, actually, it's got a pretty dated kitchen. Wallpaper. Yeah, it's pretty old. Hey, Marilyn. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property you have listed on Pine Hill. Yes. So I'm interested in it. I didn't see any, by the way, I'm not an agent. Um, I didn't see anything about the age of the AC. Do you have that? Uh, you know, off the top of my head, I don't know, but I think it's relatively new. Uh, I can check on it and call you back. Yeah, or or you could even text me if you want. Um, just wondering about the age of the AC, um, when the last time the pool was resurfaced, and how old the pool equipment is. Okay, I will I will get in touch with them. Are you here now? At the property? No. No, no. I mean, are you in Jupiter or are you over in Tampa? No, not in Jupiter. 
Okay. Well, let me get let me get a hold of the owners, and I will call you back sometime this morning. Perfect. Sounds good. Thanks, Marilyn. Thank you. Take Bye. Da, da, da. I'm trying to be more patient. Trying not to be a dick just because I feel like a steaming pile of dog poop. Damn, that one's accepting backups too. Jeez. What's with all these properties accepting backups? My goodness. I just seem to be stumbling across so many of them. Let me try the next one. If this one would pass a four point, then I would I wouldn't offer on it. Let's see. It was built in 1993. Odds are it would pass a four point. Um, Alvin says Nathan Harris. One second, let me talk to my underwriter. Okay, I'm back. I just had to tell Alvin that that agent was capping, that it's not actually an ADU. It's just a garage with um, water and plumbing to it, with electric and plumbing. Um, so this one here I'm going to abandon because it's too nice. Because here's the thing. If a conventional buyer will buy it, then your offer is going to be way lower, and there's just like no point in you making your offer if it's going to be way lower than a conventional offer. Um, George says, George says, is it a good or a bad thing that there are a lot of properties accepting backups? You know what I think it is, bro? I think it's just, I let these ones sit in my CRM for a while. And now I just have a bunch of them that are accepting backups because they sat in here for too long. Yeah. Like this one here is pending too. Pending. Yeah, this one's accepting backups too.
Huh? I don't know why this one is so different. There we go. Okay, so you can tell that this one is virtually staged. This one looks good for me to offer on. Into the roof, AC, water heater. Yep. Um, prior to closing, or provide credits to replace the roof, AC, water heater, and electrical panel. Contact agent for more details. Needs roof, AC, water heater, and electrical panel, I guess. I'm so stiff and I'm sore. And I feel like a steaming pile of dog poop. But we show up either way. And we do the work. Just take imperfect action. And thank you for calling Beth Broxton with Porza Grill Tea. I even ordered two burritos yesterday, and I could only eat a quarter of one. Hi, and thank you for calling Beth Broxton with Porza Grill Tea. Your call is very important to me. However, I'm unable to take your call at this moment. If you could, please leave me a message. I will give you a call. Oh, hey. Sorry, one second. I have to make a call real quick.
Oh, shoot. I was muted. Um, that was pretty cool. I was offered to come to um, a cool a cool camp and film all day tomorrow, but I had to turn it down because I have like a hard block for my live stream at 9 a.m. and a hard block for my breath work call at 6 p.m. So I'd have to I had to turn it down. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool opportunity. I was offered there. Here, one second. I just have to make another call. Hey guys, so I, um, I'm i giving my sister a vehicle and I gotta get this dealt with before um, before I take off. So like I have to I have to drop off the live and I have to, I think I'm gonna have to drive down there and go take this vehicle to the shop to get a safety and, and whatnot. So I gotta bounce, um, but I appreciate you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow.